now today's look is going to be a really fun and easy look that I just got inspired by Justin Bieber um, as you may all know that his Christmas album just launched I believe last week or in the beginning of November so yeah I really wanted to do something that was off of his album cover and there's the reds and the glitter like the silvers and of course he was wearing black so as you can see I just put the reds here uh, the silver is over here and on the, my waterline and I know his favorite color is purple so I included purple included purple also as you can see right over here and I just added a black to just give it a little dramatic look so yes um, if you're a Justin Bieber fan and you want to see how I did this look please stay and enjoy Okay, so first off, we're going to be starting with uh, eyeshadow primer. Um, I used to use the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly, but I just wanted to give um, this a try. And it's the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And it's my favorite. Um, it grabs the color really vibrant. It prevents it from creasing. Just like another, um, you know, sh like uh, eyeshadow primer, but this is more of a, just a jumbo eye pencil. So go ahead and apply that all over your eyelid to your brow bone and then whatever is on your finger on your ring on your left you're just gonna drag that color down so I'm just gonna blend that with my finger going up towards my brow bone and then just drag it to the bottom so and if you really want the colors more to pop just go ahead and add a little more which I really want to because I just want the colors to pop like the other side. Next, we're going to take a, a chrome eyeliner. And this is the Hip by L'Oreal. As you can see, if you can see that. And this one is a silver color. Let me just swatch it for you guys. It's a really nice chrome color. And I want to put this all over my um, eyelids, just the eyelids. This is going to be a nice base instead of using an eyeshadow, a silver eyeshadow. This one has a more of a vibrant color and the cream is going to hold the glitter that I'm going to apply on later. And then today we're going to be working with our 120 BH Cosmetics palette. This is the third edition. Blending brushes like this and this is the MAC 224 brush. We are going to take the top layer of the palette and we're going to be working with this bright red right over here. And then you're going to apply that in the crease line. Just like that. See how the jumbo pencil in milk is really helpful? It grabs the color more. And you're just going to apply that and then you're going to blend as you go. So next, with the pencil brush, like this right here, I'm sorry it's dirty, I just worked with the other eye. So this is the Sigma, it's a Sigma brush, but it's a pencil brush and you can use whatever brush you have. And I'm just going to clean it off with the little Kleenex that I have the makeup remover on just to get rid of the black so I can get more of the purple. With the same top layer of the BH Cosmetics palette, we're going to take it just to me for his favorite color in purple. I wanted to use this one, but, the, but then this one is more of a mod, kind of dark purple color. More of a plum to it, so I'm going to go with this bright, vibrant, ultra purple right over here. So go ahead and dust that on your pencil brush. This one is going to go into the crease line, so just like that. And I forgot to mention that this look is very festive also. Since Christmas is here and near, I just wanted to you know, give it a try. And then with the, the blending brush, you're just going to blend those two colors together. And you're actually done with that part. Now for highlight, what I'm going to use is Shimmer Time by MAC. Shimmer 10 by MAC and it's a really nice um, loose powder pigment and it has a it's a nice champagne color but it has a red tone and a red and gold tone to it. 
So you're just going to grab a, um, a, just a little because this one is a loose powder and you don't want it to flick all over the place. You're just going to apply that on the brow bone and then just drag it this way. And it's a really nice because um, the reflection of the little gold speckles on here is, has a really great highlight tool. move on to eyeliner. Today I just wanted to give it a try. It's my um, first time, uh, not first time, uh, maybe the third time that I'm using it in my videos. Um, I actually like it. It's okay. And it's a very cheap price too. It's the Revlon Color Stay Black Liquid Eyeliner. Oh, you can see it right there. And it's the black one. And the thing I like about this is that the brush is very sturdy and it's not flimsy like other ones would be. I'm just going to apply this very thinly. On my eye. use that chrome eyeliner again and we're going to put that on our waterline. And just line your waterline. Just like so. We're going to go in the inner corner also. Once you're done with that, you're going to take the liquid eyeliner again and then you're going to go beneath the silver. Just like that. Simple and easy. So with the blending brush, again, we're going to take a purple color. Just your favorite um, color. And then we're just going to dust some on top of the blending brush. And then we're going to drag that color down. On top of the black, it's okay because we're going to smush the black together anyway. So just apply it in as much as you want. You can go ahead and do that. I just want the purple down here. Just like that. And then now with the black, we're going to take the bottom layer of the 120DH Cosmetics. We're going to take this black color right here. And using a pencil brush so it's easy to smudge the colors, we're just going to put that in the outer corner only. And then don't worry, we're going to use a blending brush again to blend all the colors together. Just like that. We're just going to blend the colors together. Um, we're going to take this, I got this two weeks ago, and it's the NYX Crystal Silver Liquid Liner. So you can see how pretty that is. So we're going to apply that on top of the silver that we have. So next we're going to use um, mascara, take your favorite mascara, and I wanted to give this a try. It's the Victoria's Secret High Definition Mascara, you can see it. And yeah, so let's go ahead and apply that on our eyelashes. Mm -hmm. and put it on your lower lash line. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put on my fake eyelashes and we're gonna, I'm going to show you what I use for blush and my lips. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to use two things for blushes. Uh, the first one I'm using is this pink one. It's by NYX. It's a really nice pink frost color. 
and this one is pinky and then I'm using this brown one right here it's a nice brown color great for natural cheeks and this one is called cafe so with the angled blush brush which is like this right here I'm gonna apply this only to contour my cheeks so I'm gonna do the fishy face okay We're going to take that pinky color and then we're just going to dust it on, on top of it. So the colors I'm using is by MAC and this is a uh, frost and it's, it's creme de la femme. It's a really nice pink color so it's my one of my favorites. So go ahead and apply that just like that. Just wanted to give it a nice flirty pop of color. Got that color on here. And we're done. So I really hope that you enjoyed this Justin Justin Bieber inspired makeup tutorial. And if you have any requests or any questions, just leave it down in the comment box and I promise you that I'll return back the favor. So I really hope that you enjoyed this book. Thanks for watching. Bye!